Right, so I'm live again. This should uh, really help my uh, a bit rate. I'm sorry about this. It's just OBS sometimes goes uh, crazy. And it's better if I restart and we did only just start the first map. Ah. Wrong thing right here. There you go. So we'll be seeing this uh, first semi-final. Hello, Tony T, by the way. No, I didn't crash, but it uh, it was bad uh, bitrate, very bad bitrate, and you know, it's okay to restart. Hi, loser Haas. We're getting into this match now. Fecality versus Stone. People have bet uh, all their channel points on Stone. Actually, no. One person has bet on Fecality. Right, let's get started right here. I was reading chat a little bit, but we have the first frag happening for stone. Kelsey happily jumping around. Just frying that sword like quite a bit, but it's just not enough. Stackwise, they're almost even now. And there we go. The rails out of stone are amazing. And with the spit, he gets another frag. Fecality already died twice after not even a minute. Let's go over to stone. The rails by Fecality just not on point. Stone sword like movement, amazing as always. And again, fac faculty, <laughs> Fecality not hitting those rails. Oh, 100 damage. Stone super overstacked is going in for the kill, chasing that energy. They're both really fast champions once they got their momentum. And Stone took full advantage of that. Fickality had no place to run. And here we go. By the way, faculty got. Uh, faculty. Fickality got here. Uh, by beating Amaril 2 to 0. So he has been having a good cup so far. But he will have to do a lot better now to beat Stone, who's already 4 frags in the lead, so he first has to make a comeback. There we go. Great rails coming out of stone here, but Fakalti finally connecting his shots. Let's do watch him. He survives with 20 points of health. Stacking up with the smallies here on the map. The third of the match is over. He was about to spawn and they're both gonna meet there. Momentum all deleted thanks to that rail, so well done by Fakalti. He steals away the heavy and is looking bad for Stone. And he gets his second frag on the board. He's trying to make his comeback happen right now. There is no time to waste. He gets spat on. But it leads the damage right away here with this health bubble. Would have been worse. And he has full natural stack, which is a lot lower than full natural stack for a Sorlax. He's a heavy. But here we go. It doesn't matter. Stone. Oh, it's a little bit overwhelmed here on Fecality, connecting all of these rockets. 
No stone. Also, I'm missing some of these rails. I kind of gave him a little bit of a boost here, that sword leg. Wow, Stone tried to aim there. It took so much time that meanwhile he was just fried by Fecality's LG. Unbelievable. All right, we have a tie between these two contenders. Five minutes are about to be over, so almost half the match we will have seen. It's only the first map between these two guys in the best of three semi-final. Other Sammy, by the way, will include Agent for sure. Oh, another spit connected. Oh wow, and he can't even get any more damage. And he can't get away either and didn't try to go for the Mega. Would have been too risky, actually. Five minute warning. Right now, finally, half the map is over. And we only have a one score difference. So Fakalti only already made his comeback happen. He put us to a tie. Now only just lost one frag, putting him one frag behind. Stone obviously still trying his best doing these sneaky rails. Injection pop, which should give him an edge in the next fight, but Stone actually super overstacked. Look at him. Look at him under his portrait. There's not much for Kelsey can do here. Stone just comes in, tramples on everything, gets another frag. Perfect teleported play here by Fakality. He's still in the game. He still has a chance. Only one frag difference here. And four minutes left for him to establish a lead. They're both being a little bit slower here, trying to find each other. Here we go, he pushes on the Mega. He got the surprise, but Stone did have all that stack from that Mega extra pushes. Fatality forwards, gets the heavy, still not too healthy health-wise, only armor-wise. Stone is not gonna commit to this fight at the moment. He's in the lead, but it's not a comfortable one. Only one frag. And here we go. Lead tied. Fecality made it. Gonna stay interesting. Maybe this one person betting on Fecality is gonna be a lucky winner of 2000 channel points. Here we go. And another frag. He takes the lead. Fecality here. He also has been practicing a lot, it seems, and Stone might actually be still tired from yesterday. I believe Stone had to work today and he had he was up until 3.30 at night playing the Cupquake. It took a little bit extra long yesterday. He did get second place. Here we go. Just going back and forth here through the teleport fatality, trying to hit the rails, only hitting a little bit of tribal in the end. Not really worth talking about, but he is in the lead and he kept sort of like a weight, that's all he has to do. But for one and a half minutes versus a heavy champion, not too easy. But Tower of Koth, actually picked by Stone, he loves that map for some reason. He usually wins it, but not against fatality, it seems, at least not for now. Still have one minute and 20 seconds left. Fakality has to be careful. Only one frag ahead. Sorlag is not really here at the moment. Mega also secured by Fakality. Good to at least have 
Uh, an idea about when items are gonna be spit connect. The injection remedy is that situation for him immediately. Zorak is jumping in and trailing. Gotta be careful, two rails and anarchy is dead. Zorak is also a pretty fast champion. 40 seconds for stone. Ah, he has 25 health left, getting some bubbles there. Not really a lot. He gets the mega, tries to hit a rail, but he doesn't. 30 seconds are left. Are we gonna see overtime? Is Stone gonna be able to make a frag? Maybe not, if only that rail had hit 75 health left. For Fricality, and he makes it so lucky, dodging that rail by Stone. And Stone here says, GG. And we will be seeing the next map. He had a quick uh, glance at the scoreboard at least. Unbelievable fatality here. He's on the left hand side I believe. Able to snatch away a, a map from our chat favorite. Stone. Very 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 super interesting. Here are once again the picks and bands. Uh, Tower of Cough is over. We will see Awoken now, second map. Which is actually a match point for Fecality. BJ versus Galena. Ranger was banned. Don't worry, asking if we're ready. We are. I'm actually gonna quickly have a bathroom break. But I'll put you on the screen and mute the music so we, you won't be missing anything and I'll be right back. Prepare to fight. Round begins in three, two, one. Fight. Here we go. I am back just in time. We do have Fatality here who stole a map of stone. It was very close. With Anarchy versus Sorlak. And now we have Kaluna versus EJ. And it is once again Fatality. Getting first blood here, taking the lead. Here we go, Stone already around the corner, and he was pretty lucky hitting a mid-air with that rocket. Unbelievable. 30 seconds passed, and we already have two frags. Mega secured in the second rotation only. And Stone already really low again, 50 health and uh, 25 armor. Fatality though overstacked and he's going for another kill with starting shotgun. Coming again right here, Stone picking up some smallies. The totem heals up. 200 health again but it's not enough, Fatality surviving with 50 and also getting the reward, the mega. He tried to go for some LG ammo because he doesn't have any anymore. Uh, but he messed up his jump there, forgot the heavy and now also gets the LG. So he did survive and stole away the item so Stone can't really do much. Stone actually rocket jumps up there to get a better position on the Mega and scares away Fatality. He's gotta go away unless he's nuts. And here we go, he actually gets another frag so Stone a little bit weak right now. Uh, might be my fault for uh, hosting a tournament on Thursday really late in Russia. But yeah. And here we go. Fatality is really showing himself from the best side here. Taking the lead once again. Three, two, two. And the shotgun is not enough. Stone ties up. The lead. This 
this is an important match for Stone. He has to win this if he wants to have a chance at continuing in the upper bracket and going to the upper bracket final. But right now, I don't know. Kalatinia, very strong. We have a tie at the moment. Part of the match is only just over. And uh, the PJ by Kelty is pretty low. He does survive. The rail would have been enough for Stone to get a frag. He gets the Mega. Kelty trying to stack up with some smallies. He's still very weak. He knows he can't go to the heavy. Stone will get it comfortably. Oh no, and he runs into a totem. That's 40 damage extra. Kelty already stacked up to 100 health, but he has no armor to his name. Stone, though, has a little bit more than full natural stack. Be healed. Mega secured. Totem placed. Maybe it'll be acting as a mine again. Or maybe we will achieve over heal. No. We will not. It was immediately deleted here. Stone got no use out of it. A third of the match is over already. Dual wield is coming out, used with the LGs, but BJ actually has to get away. Faculty knows that Stone is right now very much overstacked. Oh wow, look at that frying. Stackwise, they are pretty even now. Stone though picks up the heavy, which changes things. This rail was not so good. Ah, they're both on about 25 health. A rail would kill either player. Oh god, they're gonna meet here again! Wow, and it is Fecality! Unbelievable, he's surprised! Stone, Stone did not expect him to come through here. He just didn't get to pull the trigger on his weapon. Wow, unbelievable. Oh, here we go, Stone actually coming back here. Four, two, four. 30 seconds left till the half map mark. With Rails coming out of Fecality, his uh, passive is healing him up to the next 25 tick. In this case, 75. He has some bubbles and a little bit of armor, but it's not enough. Stone going up close and personal with his rockets. Kalti has to do better with his shotgun. Stone is super low. He's not gonna chase, is he? Five minute warning. He's not, but he's also not running into any of this extra damage. Fakali does not have the machine gun. Ah, oh, he wanted to go for an aggressive push. Get stone away and secure the item. Ah. Oh. Pop the dual wield and this is just... Uh, too much to take. Six to four. So two frags difference here. Half the map is already over now. Kalti obviously still has a chance here. Finding some of these totems. That's good. Deny the overheal. 23 health left, now 25 thanks to that passive ability of his, but 25 health is not gonna survive. <gasps> A lot and he... <laughs> ah, unbelievable. Yeah, Stone is actually smiling about that. We have four minutes left. Score difference of three, it is six to three. And now exactly four minutes left. At least the totems are gone. But again, Fakality's uh, life was gone. So. Well. I got again secured. Here we go. And Stone hits a rail right here. 8 to 3 now in scores. Damage is being exchanged. Ah! 
eight to four now. Still double the scores, and Fakality is trying to make this comeback happen. But Stone already tickling him with the machine gun after the spawn. And it was two oversellers by him. Fakality gets another frag. He has two minutes and 30 seconds left. Three frags need to be caught up. He can hear the Galena clearly. Galena should be hearing him as well. She pulled the trigger finger sooner, but it didn't matter because Fakality had two trigger fingers. Right there. Alrighty, let's go. Wait, that last little bit is missing. I can't say go yet. Come on, do it. That's it. And what? What? No. It's supposed to be a frag for Fakality. Maybe a little bit too hyped. Oh, there we go. He does it now. I'll say go now. But it was way too late for Fakality. You're messing up my casting here. <laughs> Right here we go, we have another frag opportunity, 25 health left, 4 stone. Quick, Kalti, find the Galena before she finds her totems. I think it's already too late. Stone actually overstacked, two more of his totems are down at the machine gun spawning place. Ah. Uh. Oh well. Two frags need to be caught up. Heavy picked up. One minute warning. Trying to hit some rails, but not hitting anything that doesn't give him a reason to commit to these fights. So Stone again. Overcharged with his overheal. At least one totem down there was found by Fakality. I'm sure if he deleted the other one as well. And it looks like the second map will go towards stone. Or maybe not. He can't hit the rail there, it was so close. Go oh, build LG and he gets another frag. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, mega up uh, now, okay. And where is Kalina? Where is she? Find Kalina. There is Kalina, okay, now he messed up the jump. Okay though, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Where's Kalina? No, he has no more rails. Kalina, stand still. Fakalji wants to kill you. No. <laughs> Kalina didn't stand still enough. And like this, we have Stone winning the second map. It was super close once again. Stone says something about the server, so maybe we might have to change it. So this was definitely GG. And we will be seeing a tiebreaker between these two guys. Both maps super duper close. And we have a score for each player. One, two, one. Here are the picks once again in this uh, one of the semi-finals. We have Deep Embrace as the tiebreaker map. Visor played by Mr. Stone and Mr. Fakality is playing the Eisen with his turret. Strog and Pika were banned here. Okay, so they're saying something about the server or reset your router. Net server. Da. Okay. Menei. We white pomegranate. He would like to eat some pomegranate. Central's Davlu. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'll say okay too. Sometimes, sometimes it helps. Oh, I see. But I thank you guys for translating the uh, Russian. I don't understand any Russian, so it's always good to have some of you uh, Russian understanding people in chat. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks for the translations. But by the way, since I restarted OBS, we also have quality options now, so that's good. And. Remember, you can also contribute for Cupquake 
with number four. But for now, let's first watch this duel. And maybe it's just, uh, I don't know, Quake having some issues today. Prepare to fight. Because some other people also have internet issues, apparently. Round begins in. Right, Three, but let's get this started. Two, one. Fight. Here we go, let's fight. So, we are on Mr. Stone. He has lost the first map, but won the second one. He's already popping the wall hack. Unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, in the first few seconds of the game. Uh, he's trying to go for these really sneaky rails, just off by a millimeter. Here we go, stone. And a nice rocket jump and hitting the rail there, mid-air. Putting himself in the lead. And here we go. He also gets the second frag. That's okay. It doesn't need to mean anything. Because we have seen Fakelty taking first blood on, this, on the second map. And then he lost it actually. We got another confrontation! Faculty very much available despite this heavy pickup. The turret there scares away, scares away stone. A direct! What? He always unpacks these amazing shots. Stone here. Wow. I hope he can make uh, these great plays tomorrow at the challenges as well so he'll get very far. There we go, Fakalti actually coming back now, getting the first frag on the board after 1 minute and uh, 45 seconds, so it's not too late. He's at the moment two frags behind. Full natural stack for him, stone overstacked on health. No items up for quite a while. Ah, he says Austin Vig, but actually. He gets railed from the side. So he was just in the right place. Go for damage, unbelievable. There we go, another frag. For Mr. Fakality, he is taking this seriously. He wants to go to the grand final. Direct rocket, beautifully done by Fakality. Alrighty. And here we go. Another frag for Fakality. He's really picking it up. go turn is also placed here but they just can't make it happen here all right now finally stone gets a frag goes up to the heavy picks it up let's actually watch him a little bit he did just make the last frag and he's still in the lead five to three but fricality has plenty of time not even half the map is over lg on 
those rockets, the Mega was picked up, so Fatality gets scared out of the room. Perfect. Drive out there, that should give him courage. Ah, too much courage. Received so much rocket damage there. Fatality's still trying to nail and actually scares away Stone. He's not moving in, he doesn't want to lose a frag. Half the map is over now. Five minute warning. Go oh, heavy finally picked up by Fecality. Mega is already up and waiting. <laughs> A teeny tiny amount of health left for Fecality. He has to. He's lucky he survived it. Ah, and here he gets found by Stone's amazing rails. Using the wall hack now. Getting the exact position here on Fecality. So wall hack here, very useful. This is such a small map and despite the turret coming out, it can't achieve anything and we have seven to three. Alrighty, here we go. Eight to three now, turret deleted. It didn't even shoot at stone, unbelievable. Didn't even look at him. The turn was broken. We have less than four minutes left. Well, hack just popped. A huge score advantage here for Stone, who's hunting for his next frag. So Kelsey knows he has to make something happen very soon, or it will be too late. Stone actually lower than Kelsey, but he finds more stack after this, and ah, uh, too late for the mega. So he's out of rockets, which is uh, no problem for him. He's hurting Fecality so bad that he is railable, but so is Stone. I don't think Fecality has the rail yet. Drive both coming in, dealing minimal damage. Eisen is just around the corner here. Easily found due to the very fair wall hack. <laughs> Right, but you are allowed to use what the game gives you, so all is good. 10 to 3. Seven frags need to be caught up, and it looks like Fakelty is not gonna have a chance here. Weiser is simply stronger. Here we go, they're both really low. Who's gonna die? I'm gonna hit the next rail. Kelty secures the heavy, gets some bubbles. Stone already going for the next track. And here we go, it's happening with the rail. They both hit a rail. Ah, but it was Stone getting another frag, so extending his lead further. 11 to 3. Two minutes left in the game. Finding each other right here. He does not have too many weapons yet. And the turret actually gets him a frag. Good job there. Almost pushes him out of the map, but it is not enough. And Eisen actually a lot healthier than Stone. He finds it too risky to actually move in. Go another frag right here. And turret is also still helping. Let's watch Fecality. It seems pretty unlikely he's gonna be making this comeback. After all, we have a 6 frag difference and only 1 minute and 10 seconds left. To turn things around. But Fecality has, has had a great run. First he beat Amaril. In the semi-final. Which is already very unexpected. And now he almost beats Stone. Second map was super close. There we go. He gets another redemption. Frag pushes him into the hole. But Stone here is like, ah, well, you can do that. I can still rail. You know, old school also works. Now we have double the scores here. Only about 30 seconds left in the match. 6 to 12. So we can already be calling our GGs. 
The ghost on healing more and more damage until he eventually gets the frag. The ghost shotgun is coming in once again and two seconds left. That's gonna be it. And we do have GG right here and now two to one is the end score. There's the scoreboard for you guys. And this match is over. Two to one.